from Williams Pinball. Right, Kirk? Hey, look at this. Atlantis. Atlantis has a Williams Lockdown bar on it. Now, what do you think of that, folks? Isn't that something? It was a round down in the journals. Yeah. Did you see? That was back talk. It's also got a Bally board system in it, but it's got a really flat down board. Anyway, I'm borrowing it for this game. Anyway, I want to show you this unbelievably beautiful game. The Space Shuttle. This was the big landmark game. See? The little light bar here in the center, this actually spells out the word space shuttle at one point. Really clever stuff. This was the first game to use their new fangled System 11 board. It was able to do a lot more stuff, be a lot more intricate with its, uh, its operation. And we have put all LEDs under the field out on top. So this machine is completely LED from top to bottom. You also but uh, different colors, and we have, we have purple here instead of white. Yep, there we go. See, P, A, C, E, S, H, yes, take my word for it, it spells shuttle. It does spell shuttle, look at that, isn't that sharp? Really, really nice piece of equipment. These were all white here, so we decided to make it red, yellow, and green up there, for instance. Beautiful job on the overhaul here. We have white LEDs lighting our uh, shuttle, Yellow LEDs lighting space shuttle the words. Customers been waiting a while for one of these. This is one of four games we're shipping down to Florida. Last action here was another. Frank, what was the others? Uh, oh, uh, Lannis and Tomcat, which is already done. Yes, Tomcat's already wrapped. Anyway, let's take you in the back here. Let's see what we've done back here. You can see our LEDs. We've got four 63s there, as we showed you. Oh, we'll need a little light, Frank. Just a little bit. There we are. Power supply has been rebuilt with all new capacitors. Since we're using the high voltage, we've changed the high voltage and the resistors, and all these capacitors are new. That's going to last another, what, Frank? Let's see, 20 years, 30 years? Good. Uh, Logic board. This is the first use of this board. I only used this board in, I think, six games, Frank. And then they moved on to the next version. But it's a good board system. The System 9, too, I mistakenly told you in 11. I can just hear it. It's a 9. It's a 9. No, it's a 11. 9. It's an 11. Not a... <laughs> Frank, help me out. It's a 9. No, I'd rather watch your founder and camera. What was the 10 used on? Pen and Fever. Gridiron. You already learned that. And Gridiron, yes, because that was a Pen and Fever conversion. And then 11 was the other ones. What pin button was that? One of the first, I think. Okay. So now you don't have to email me. Good. Anyway, Sorcerer used this uh, a few other games. Uh, these connectors re reflowed. The speech board from the Gorgar time. Uh, the first used on Gorgor and Firepower, connected by the Interconnect. <coughs> also, video games, uh, Sinistar used this board, too. Is that talk? Really, really good board. This uses this relay in the circuit when it flashes all the lights, turns them on and off. A lot of people didn't know. This, this plug right here, that's the power to the relay. So when the computer transistor here wants to flash all the lights or turn it on and off, it just turns this on, turns the relay on, it shuts off the voltage to the GI. And, of course, there's a fuse for each, each circuit. There's two fuses for the head, two for the body. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, did you hear the relay click? All the GI is out, the head and body. But you know what? Williams decided they wanted to turn the head and body lights off separately. So that's when you see a relay in the head and on the play field and they stopped using that altogether. So that's when and they actually started to use two relays on the play field, and they kind of went all out with the relays. Great idea, though. The relays make a nice lighting effect, and it's an inexpensive option. 
Anyway, uh, let's see. We, of course, we did uh, our usual things in the head. This is real glass, mirrored glass. It's in terrific shape. Actually, the artwork looks very nice. Is Steven still here? Or did he cut out? Steven, Steven's off of his crutch now. There he is. Look. Look. He's just got a cat now. See? He's walking nice and smooth. He told me soon he's going to be able to catch up to me when we race. Ah, ah Frank, it's time to play. And I'm going to show you some of the neat rules. First of all, we're going to start the game. I want you to concentrate on this area. Now watch. This is going to light up a random centerpiece. You can get any of these lights to light. And it is random. Here we go. 20,000. So if I spell shuttle, shuttle scores the lit value. And S-H-U-T-T-L-A, I will get 20,000. Right off the bat, my two lock holes are flashing. Very easy to get them in. See, they were thinking, nobody's playing pinball. What can we do to come back? We'll introduce our new board system, and we will come out with a game that positively knocks them nuts. So your opening shot, your lane change uses USA. Every time you spell that, you move up your bonus. And look, watch. So right in here, boom. Wasn't that a nice effect? That flash is nice and bright when you shoot your ball here. You get the liftoff sound, and you are going. You get some nice action. Remember, our machine is flat, too. Now look, my other lock is flashing, but this target's blocking. If I knock that down, my multiball immediately starts buzzing. So I can get instant multiball by simply going up that lane, or... I can try for three ball. The target does not reset. Really nice. I mean, they're really trying to accommodate the new player. Look how easy it was for me to get four times now. Now watch what happens when we go into our center. You see it count three, two, one down with a light bulb in the center? Look at that dazzling light show. I just did something called a stop and score. I don't know if you noticed that. Let's show you real quick. See the numbers? As I go up to the center here, now watch. Watch what happens. Stop and score when lit. We have a purple LEDs up there. Look, and it shows you what you got. Remember that neat effect with the mystery score in the Black Knight? Look, my shield is here. It went down, right down the toilet. Now, drop target. If I got my drop targets down, they open up the airbag. See, right there's my airlock. So if I get this down again, reopen. Okay? See? We also put the color LEDs here, which I thought was a nice effect. I just thought that was really nice. Anyway. Nope, not, not good enough. <laughs> Still not good enough. Cry! Okay, we did it. We got it up. Isn't that a nice effect? Now, we'll get our 20,000. Hear the bell? Yes, that's the bell from Jungle Lord. Look, my out lanes will score 100 plus if I spell Space Shuttle again. Look. Isn't that nice? What a nice effect. Got my stop and score again. A lot of videos up there showing all the merits of this beautiful game, but this was absolutely an amazing game that really put Pimble back on the map. I think anybody that sees and plays the game will know that. Kurt, what's your opinion? <laughs> He's buried inside of Night Moves. And you can hear the Super Pac fan. Bang, 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 bang. Thank you, sir. Good night. <laughs> and remember, smoking is bad for your health.